morning, Prime Minister Modi has indicated his desire for a G2G arrangement between Malaysia and India for the construction of a convention center, a new convention center in Delhi. To make this happen, all these exciting things, both of us agree that we should appoint a point person on both sides so that there will be immediate follow-through. Mr. Modi is a man of action. He wants things to be implemented expeditiously. He has got proven track record as Chief Minister and now as Prime Minister. He tells me that the construction of roads have been implemented at a much faster rate than before, from 2 kilometers a day to 18 kilometers a day. So I'm excited about the new possibilities that we can do together with India. Our relations are broad-based. Uh, it includes the field of education. Many Malaysians have received their education in India, particularly in the field of medicine. Prime Minister Modi is very keen that we should look at the recognition of Indian degrees uh, in IT and engineering. So through the Ministry of Higher Education and MQA, we will take immediate action to discuss with appropriate and relevant authorities in India so that we be able to recognize more degrees in Indian universities and polytechnics, technical colleges, so that more Indian degrees can be made available to Malaysians. We also discuss defense cooperation. India has a very dynamic and strong defense industry. So both ministries will discuss on the possibilities of expanding our bilateral cooperation, which includes joint production and so forth. So that would be something that we will pursue. I also thank Prime Minister Modi for all his assistance in the search for MH370. Uh, Malaysia and India, we share a lot of common position uh, with respect to uh, counter-terrorism. We will work closely together to defeat violent extremism and terrorism. And in the light of the climate change conference in Paris, we will also work closely together to try to make uh, a deal happen, but a deal which is fair for both the developing world as well as for the advanced economies. Um, Prime Minister Modi is also keen to expand traditional medicine in the field of uh, Ayurveda, so that's something that we will look into uh, to uh, expand the um, development and the usage of traditional medicine in Malaysia. So all in all, I'm very pleased with uh, the discussions that we had, and I'm confident that under his leadership, bilateral ties between Malaysia and India will get deeper and stronger in the years to come. So thank you once again, Prime Minister. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Sri, for your statement. I now have the, honorable, the, the honor to invite the Honorable Narendra Modi to deliver his statement. His Excellency, Prime Minister Dato Sri Rajiv Kun Rajagji, members of the media, thank you, Mr. Prime Minister, for your warm sentiments and generous hospitality. I deeply appreciate your gesture of hosting me in the midst of Asia and East Asia Summit. I congratulate you on the outstanding summits and for the establishment 
of the Asian community. A review of the year's on its 10th anniversary set an excellent course for this region's most important forum. The two back-to-back -back airline tragedies could save the morale of any nation. I commend your leadership and the resolve and resilience of the Malaysian people. Mr. Prime Minister, let me say how deeply we value our relations with Malaysia. And we are grateful for your stewardship that has kept our relationship on a steady course of progress. There are many dimensions to our connected histories. We have very old links of culture and religion. The Malaysian Indian community forms a very special and strong bond between us. I had the opportunity to speak to them last evening. We are defined by diversity and democracy. We have built a vibrant economic partnership. We are located on the same maritime route. We are close island, uh, we are close aligned in our vision and approach to the region and work closely in regional forums. So with a relationship as rich as this, I'm pleased that we have agreed to make our summit ministerial dialogues and official meetings more regular. I assure you that we will work with renewed vigor to raise the level of momentum to our partnership. I am particularly grateful to you for your security cooperation. It underlines our shared commitment to deal with our security challenges. We will continue to deepen our cooperation in this area. The recent spate of attack in different countries, not to mention the ceaseless terrorist attempts against India and Afghanistan, are a reminder of the global nature of this threat. Mr. Prime Minister, you have provided leadership in combating extremism and radicalization rejected any link between terrorism and religion and in highlighting the real values of Islam. This is a great contribution to an important aspect of our global efforts against the challenges. We will also make our defense cooperation stronger, including for advancing maritime security and strengthening disaster response in our region. I am pleased that we have agreed to upgrade our joint exercise and set up the Su-30 Forum. We will do more in terms of level and complexity of exercise and collaboration in training and defense equipment. Our agreements to cooperate in cyber security is very important. As our lives get more network, this is emerging as one of the most serious concerns of our age. I say, Prime Minister, believe that our trade and investment relations can be scaled up significantly. We intend to exploit the full potential of our bilateral agreement and the ASEAN agreements. We look forward to an early conclusion of the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership Agreement. Malaysia, Malaysian competence in infrastructure is well known. Malaysia has completed several important projects, including in the road sector in India. I express our desire to see the enhanced Malaysian participation in areas such as 
expansion and upgradation of infrastructure, make in India and smart cities project. Indian companies have a strong presence in Malaysia. Ircom is contributing to development of a rail infrastructure here. We want to rise the level of Indian presence in Malaysian economy. Prime Minister and I determined to explore steps of so concrete and early results. I am also meeting Malaysian CEOs later today. I am happy that we are strengthening our excellent cooperation in public administration and governance. I have personally interacted with Pemandu and I am pleased that our Niti Ayo will work with them. We will place special emphasis on cultural and people-to-people -people ties. As you know, Prime Minister Najib and I will inaugurate the Toran Gate at the center of Little India Brickfield. This is the gift to India, to, of, of India, but a labor of love for Prime Minister Najib. And it will be a symbol of our timeless ties and the friendship between our people. We invite Malaysian students to study in India and urge early conclusion of an agreement on mutual recognition of degrees. I'm very pleased with our excellent and growing cooperation in traditional medicines, including Ayurveda and Siddha. Mr. Prime Minister, thank you for a very productive discussion. I'm confident that our strategic partnership will go to new level. Look forward to your visit to India soon. Thank you very much. Thank you, Your Honorable. Now we would like to invite Dr.